that's a claim that's going to be looked at. Jeffrey Hawaleo appeared to have his arm in a, what might be considered to be an unnatural position. Augsburg not bothered for the time being, and certainly not Elvis. Christian Jakic couldn't pick out his man inside the box, and now we've got Mainz on the run. Brian Gruder, plenty of bodies coming forward. This is promising here, and it should be in here. Oh, it comes off the crossbar. Where well, the team had the ball at the other end. And all of a sudden, it was there for the taking. Not a short ball in! And a fabulous save from Robin Sedner. Brought him well! And there is a goal that they have been craving for! And it is Sepp van den Berg, the Dutchman, with his second goal of the campaign. And again, a chance. Oh, this is promising. It could be, and that might be. No. Well, the crowd want to see a penalty there. Here is the contact. And that is when Philip Enverda goes down. Of course, it's a penalty. He's taken one penalty in his career, and he's scored it. That was in April of last year. Nadim Mamini. Oh, it comes off the post. He wanted to do that perfectly. The problem was for Amiri is... Gruder overlapping Envena. That's where the ball's going. In the centre is Onisivo. And... Oh, great save again. He knew he was going in. Well, let's rephrase that. That's why I've always won. And it looks as though they might win... Their first game in charge under him, and this is going to get a bit nasty. And the referee's going to have a hard job to keep everyone calm. It's a straight red. I have to see it again. I saw a challenge there. That's oh my word. The ball's gone, but the way it goes into the Luxembourg International, Leandro Pereira. There's no other <laughs> colour of card. Keep supporting their team, the Zero Fivers. And that is the final whistle. And for a brand new head coach, it's a first three points for him in Germany's top flight. But it is just the second time that Mainz have collected all three points in this campaign.